Hello and welcome. I am Maria and this is my channel, Ali Juno's Crafty Corner. Um, it's been a bit since I've done anything. Um, I figured I would get a stitch with me going because we've almost got completely moved in. Uh, we still have things to put away as you can see with the boxes behind us, but um, it is Saturday, uh, July the 24th. We are not doing much today. We have, we're kind of taking a, a break. So I figured I'm going to be finishing up this project and I'll see if I can get it done here on the stream. And um, hopefully everybody can hear me okay. We're um, reset everything up. So I don't know how well everything's gonna work. This may be a bit wiggly. I'm gonna try to keep it from wiggling as much as I can, but we are working on my rainbow dog. I am on the last 200 and I think 80 stitches. I did not bring my tablet with me so I can double check. Don't do that. Sorry, Kitty was scratching on the back of the couch and we're trying not to let them do that because it's new furniture. Um, so, yeah, things have been super crazy. Oh, before we go much further, if you are a new viewer here, thank you for coming in. I hope you enjoy my channel. I do cross stitch, knitting, um, I've started doing crochet things as well. Um, that's about all that I do. Um, if you are a returning viewer, thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. And hopefully with us getting moved in and everything, I'll be able to start getting more consistent on streaming again, whether it's on here or Twitch or um, wherever. Um, so I figure while I do my stitching, my stitching today, I would just kind of chatter about life, basically. So in March, we decided to start trying to move. So we started looking and filing, got all the, all the bruja that comes with um, all that. Light, there we go. Give me my light, yay. Um, and we found one place we were really into it, but Finances changed and uh, something we just were not able to get the loan amount that we originally thought we were going to so we had to redo um, and then um, we found this place and put a bid on it and we actually we got the bid and uh, went through everything and finally we closed on this last weekend so we've been moving in since uh sunday uh, since friday last week is when we signed on the house so we've been moving in getting everything in, in place um the move in has been real slow because my husband um his health issues make it where he can only do small ports uh, small portions at a time and um I can't move all the heavy stuff by myself. <laughs> so we had to move very cautiously, um, getting all the heavy furniture into the house. Um, we got a living room set for the first time that I can recall that we actually have a 100% matching living room set. So I'm happy about that. Um, I mowed my yard for the first time um, in the wood. I think it's been almost 10 years since I've had to mow a yard or more. So, and we've got about half an acre. So it's not a quick mow. I still have part of the yard, to, the, the other part of the yard to mow, but um, I've, 
got it partially, so we're, it's all right. We'll get there. Um, I do enjoy mowing. I don't know why. Um, I have been cross stitching just a bit more than knitting because I don't have all my knitting stuff out yet. Um, I don't have all my cross stitch stuff out yet either, but um, I did have a few already uh, on the frames. And uh, the two projects that I do have of my knitting, I didn't want to work on. So I have a scarf that I'm working on and a blanket that I'm working on. Um, the scarf is fairly easy, but the blanket I have to, I'm only able to work on that when I have time to finish the four row repeat because I don't like leaving it in the middle of a row. So I don't really pull that one out and recently my brain has not been up to doing much of anything. Um, I have been crocheting. I found a old blanket that I had started for my son. Um, I am thinking when I was pregnant with him in 2007, but it may have been after he was born. I do not 100% remember, but I'm almost positive I started it when I was pregnant with him. Um, and worked on it some when he was a toddler. I'm not sure. Um, but I had totally forgotten all about it until we moved and I found it packed away in one of our closets in the old house. <laughs> I was like, oh! I, I didn't remember this and then I started looking at it and then I'm like, oh yeah, I do remember this. So um, I actually, um, since I already had the green and the red, I started working on it. I bought the blue I need so I can continue because it's, it's red, blue, and green. I have posted picture. I think I posted pictures on my Instagram if anybody really wants to see it. The cats have been doing pretty well with the move. Before we moved, our two calico cats did not get along at all. Our main cat, Aries, I know I've talked about this a few times if you're uh, a normal. Uh, a returning viewer, y'all might have heard me talk about Aries before. She had a tendency of chasing and attacking Reese's, which is our other calico cat. Um, but since we've moved here to the new house, so far there has been no fights. Not a lot of hissing. You know, they'll kind of side-eye each other, but there's really no actual fights or anything. So that is what I'm really happy about. So there's no throwing fit at each other. Um, we have been... Slowly getting things in order. Um, luckily, the house has a lot of plugs, which is nice. I got the internet here. Um, I did have um, the only active internet port was in my husband's bedroom, which I wanted the internet out in the living room space, living room dining room space. So I called them up and had them um, come out to put a new port in. 
and it's a good thing I did because while they were putting in the new port, they realized that the um, cord running to the hole out back was not in that great of condition. So they ended up replacing that wire, and of course this is all during my work day. So internet outage um, meant no working. So, I, but they sit there and got that run and then realized that the cord connecting to the pole outside on the main power line was also messed up. So they had to have the maintenance crew come out and work on that too. So it's a good thing that I had them come out put in a new port because they found the bad lines which would have affected my internet speed and I truthfully probably would not have gotten somebody out to look at it because as long as the speeds were running fast enough I probably wouldn't have said much but with them getting it fixed it means that I should now be running at the, the top of the line speed that I can run Um, I don't think, I don't remember the last time I've done a stitch with me. So I don't really know anything that I've been talking about or had talked about or if I left off anything on anything. If anybody has any questions about anything, feel free to answer. Um, feel free to ask, I will gladly answer. Um, when I get the house completely done, like my dining room behind me, is my desk here is set up in my, considered the dining room-ish spot, I guess. Some people would call it a dining room, but it's just a really big living room. I have my desk set here in the corner. I have my work desk in my bedroom so that I can close the door if I need to have privacy. But I have this section here for my desk. We have a dining room in there that I'm going to put my shelves and stuff for my all my yarn and cross stitch stuff. And uh, hopefully our goal is to have that all set up next week. Oops, that was not in the right spot. Um, hopefully have that all set up. Um, and then my husband also made sure to make that made sure that we had a grill because I really do enjoy grilling. And I haven't been able to do that in the last eight years because we've been living in an apartment. And the apartment complex would let you have charcoal grills when we first moved in. And then they put out a thing saying you're no longer allowed to have charcoal grills. So I never bought one because I didn't want to take the chance, even though I seen everybody else with one. I didn't want to take the chance that we weren't actually supposed to have them. So, we bought me one this year. Um, my husband does not like propane, gr propane grills. And I like charcoal, but I can't get, I have such a problem getting the temperature right on a charcoal grill. I either charcoal, or like I either burn everything real bad. Um, so I unfortunately need one of the fancier ones to help um, keep up with what temperature everything is. So we kind of compromised. Um, and we got a pellet grill. I, it's like you just put this bag of pellet wood chips in and um, 
the, it'll keep a read on what the temperature is at and help regulate the temperature. So I am cheat grilling, but I still love the taste of grilled food and getting out there and standing in front of it and flipping it and all that stuff. So. We are going to close this, or close this, we're going to end this. It's getting a little on the low side. Probably go through one more. This will probably fill up here, and I'll probably need a little more thread before I get to the end here. I'm definitely going to finish this on stream. So, whatever time I finish it, that's, that's when I'm going to end the stream for the day. I will definitely do my best to stream more often. Um, I have started to get back into wanting to do my cross stitch projects. I have the a perfect place um, at my couch area. Like we've got this really cool couch set. It's a rocking um, love seat. I love it. It's perfect for knitting. And then we've got the sofa part over there that is perfect for my stand to go over it and um, put it at the perfect angle so I can stitch while we watch TV. So I should be able to switch between my projects fairly easy. Um, and then um, I've got a little rolly cart that I've been um, using. I've got a lot of my cross stitch stuff connected to it at the moment, but I'm going to put a few of my current um, knitting projects in it as well. So that like if I'm out here in the living room, I can roll it out here. If I'm in my room, I can roll it in there. You know, because I think the easier it is for me to get to my projects, the more likely I will work on them. And I'm doing my best to make sure that we are trying to be more gathering social, because we all have a tendency to hole up in our room or at our desk and ignore the world. So I kind of want to try to um, be more, like even if it's just being in the same room on your own personal device, in my opinion, that's still better than everybody being in their own, completely separated from one another. Um, my middle daughter, Aon, um, she transferred. So she works at Walmart and she was able to get transferred over to the Walmart here where we moved to. So that was really good. Um, and it's not walking distance for them anymore, but um, it's not that far away. It's not even a five minute drive. Most times it might be if traffic's bad, but traffic's not normally too bad around um, around here. So I know two weekends from now I'm going to my cross stitch group. 
Um, next weekend, I'm probably going to go over to my mom's. I will say, I do really prefer my parking methods over this because I'm always terrified. I'm missing a stitch somewhere because it's just filling in a big old gap of holes. It's not too bad when it's like this because it, it's wide enough gaps, but like when you have one stitch here, one stitch there, those always scare me because I'm always afraid I'm missing them. Okay. Um, I think I've basically talked about everything. Um, oh, we had, we, we, We did end up losing one of our big TVs. Um, I think the way the U-Haul truck that we had was extremely bouncy. Um, it was not very well, like, smooth as ride ever. <laughs> yeah, no, that thing was horrible. Um, one of our dresser drawers ended up with a gouge in it because of all the bouncing of the uh, stuff shifted the furniture around in there so something was rubbing up on top of the other thing and uh, we had this thought we had our 70 inch tv put in there in a very safe place and um it didn't work it, you can uh, the monitor, the, the, the birds. When you turn the TV on, the screen is all walk and waggy and lines everywhere. So, it did not survive the move. Which, we've had it for a while too, so it's not too big of a deal, but it still had plenty of life left. So it's kind of upsetting that we lost it, um, but luckily, you know, we did find a good deal on another TV. It's not as big, but it's big enough. So it works. So at least now we have a TV in the living room again. It is a smart TV, so it can access all the channels or all the stuff we already have. So. We're getting close to being done. Not that close, but close. Alright. I think I totally went off track on what I was talking about. I know I'm looking forward to pulling out one of my parking projects and working on it. I just have not decided exactly which one I'm going to work on. I should pull out the wolf and work on the wolf one because I really do need to get it finished. But we will see. Make sure I don't get out of y'all's view. Alright. Um. When I get done with this, I'm going to go. I think we're going to. 
to go make spaghetti for supper tonight. And while we're in there making spaghetti, we're going to get all the food put into the cabinets that we are wanting everything to be in. Right now everything is just kind of set in there. But I think tonight we're actually going to work on getting it um, everything in its proper order. Um, the house did come with all the appliances, but the dishwasher does not work. Thankfully, we actually have the dishwasher from the apartment complex because we had bought a dishwasher put into the apartment complex when the one that they gave, when the one that they had died. Well, it didn't die. It still worked, but I could never get anything clean because it was just one of the cheapest versions of dishwashers you could find. And the, 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 the water over there was real hard, so you always had a white film over all your food, your dishes. So it was like not even worth washing them in the dishwasher. Um, so we ended up, um, about a year ago, we ended up buying a dishwasher for the apartment ourselves and installed it. So when we moved out, we took it with us. Um, I remember asking the apartment complex about it when I called them up and asked them if we could purchase a dishwasher for the place ourselves and just take it when we left. And she, the lady that I talked to was like, what we don't know, don't hurt us. Just don't tell us. I was like, okay. That's about the time I decided we needed to move away. So, that's... I appreciate the offer. I put, you know, I used it. I took the, the option of having a decent dishwasher. Um, so we'll probably be getting the new, that dishwasher installed this week so that I can get my dishes washed. I can wash by hand. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just so much easier at the end of the day just to put everything you used in the day in the dishwasher and run the dishwasher. And then when you go in to cook breakfast in the morning, just unload the dishwasher. Um, and if you happen to want, use too many of the big pans and they can't all fit, um, I just hand wash them anyway. Like, why not, you know? There we go. So, once we get done with food tonight, I'm probably going to get on the computer and play, um, World of Warcraft for a little while, and then for later tonight, um, I'll probably crochet on the blanket. Maybe put a TV on, uh, a movie on the TV. After, uh, I'll probably end up crocheting just after we eat because we'll be watching TV in here, and we'll probably finish watching what we're watching. And I'll crochet while we're just after we get done eating. Because we've been watching a um, barbecue wars type show. Like these grand champion barbecue judges are judging other people to see who has the best barbecue. I like, I like shows like that, watching barbecue shows or cooking shows. 
Um, those are about the only type of shows I really will sit down and watch. I don't like TV shows or anything like that. I'll play something I've seen a million times in the background, but actually trying watching new shows or some a television show on TV or Netflix, nah. What? Not my thing. Just recently, like I stopped watching YouTube videos of any kind. Um, just recently started watching YouTube videos again. Um, I will say there is a new, well, she's got a few videos out now. She's a friend of mine. I've talked to her about her a couple of times on here. Um, I think I talked to, I think the last video I did, I mentioned her. Um, but if you're looking for a lot of really cool projects, because she works on like 30 or 40 of them a month, and she rotates through them every month, she at least puts some, uh, a stitch, uh, at least, I think, I think it's at least 100 stitches in each project a month. So you always see the, you know, some kind of progress on it each month. So if you're looking for, and she, um, she, they travel in an RV, so, and she like shows pictures and sometimes the stitchy stores that she'll go to, um, LNS shops or whatever. So if you're interested, definitely go check out 14 Count Ada Girl. I will have, also tag her in the description below. Um, I really enjoy watching her videos. Um, I enjoy watching, uh, been watching Needlebug, been watching her videos. Um, she likes, she tends to do lives a lot and I really enjoy um, popping in on those. Um, another group I, person I, or people I watch, they're more knitting than cross stitch, but she does do a, a little bit of cross stitch. Um, she'll do a side video sometimes with her cross stitch, her floss tubes, but it's Rose Opal Knits. Um, I really enjoy her channel. Um, they do a lot more knitting on there, but she does do her floss tubes every now and then. Um, the Dizzy Stitcher, I really enjoy watching his. I watched his stitch with me the other day. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've been watching more Twitch than YouTube here recently. Um, but I, most of my Twitch watching has been like World of Warcraft or Diablo 3. I'll watch a few crafters on Twitch or on, yeah, on Twitch. Um, Serenadia, she's my main Twitch crafty person I watch. Everybody else mostly plays video games. I don't know, I enjoy watching um, the game being played when I'm working. Um, I don't really like watching the cross stitch or the floss tubes when I'm working a lot of times because um, you're showing stuff and I can't focus. At least when they're the streams where they're playing the video games, I'm just listening. It's not really anything I need to look at. Um, 
I'll do that sometimes with Stitch With Me's as well. If I, I can just sit there and listen to the Stitch With Me. Um, like, um, the Stitchy Witch, I will watch her Stitch With Me's um, while I'm working. Because I can listen to her chatter while I'm working on a ticket or helping out another client or whatever. Not a lot of people I know do stitch with me, so that's why I tend to follow over to Twitch and uh, watch what they do over there. Ooh, we, we are almost done, peoples. We got the last stitch coming up. Very, very close to being done. And this will be my first finished project of this year. I've not finished anything at all this year. Um, yeah. So this is going to be my first finished project of the year. And I don't, at the moment, I don't have any other project anywhere near being close to finished. <laughs> All right, we are going to go down. We're going to end this thread and it is going to be a completed project. And then I can work on getting an FFO'd in a couple of months. Okay, now I'm gonna go up here. I'll go down. Come on, grab the fabric. There it is. There you go. Scratch it over, and up we go. It is done. There is no more to do. Yeah. There's no more to do. It's all done. I'm gonna scroll out. Now the full view. Just gorgeous. Sorry. But he is just gorgeous. I love the way he turned out. All these colors. Love it. Yay! <laughs> All right. So that was only about 40 minutes, um, but that is going to be the end of my stream today. Um, hope everybody enjoyed the stitch with me. Um, I know it was just basically <laughs> a lot of chatter, but as you can still see the boxes in the background, I still have a lot of work to do. But I figured um, I wanted to get this finished today, and I figured it'd be the perfect time to do a stitch with me because I have not done one in months so <laughs> and um so I am going to call this quiz today I hope everybody had a good day and I'm repeating myself so I'm gonna say goodbye um, good night and happy stitching see you next time